Hey everybody, this very cold, windy, nasty day brings us back out to Sanatoga, Pennsylvania. And yes, the reason why we are back in Sanatoga, Pennsylvania is to check out their Liberty Ministry Thrift's gigantic, awesome mega store. Have not been out here in about two weeks. I did say that um, I wanted to, to split things up, uh, go every other week out to these stores so they have time to actually do some restocking. I wasn't really sticking to that plan. I was kind of coming out here every single week, but now it has been two weeks and we're back. We're gonna see what they have. Hopefully they have restocked. Hopefully there's new movies, new toys, new all kinds of goodies that I wanna pick up. All I know though is that inside is not outside and I'm not gonna be freezing anymore once I get in there. So let's go inside, let's see what we can find and uh, yeah, let's get out of this cold wind. Let's not freeze anymore. Ah, the warmth, it feels good to be inside. So the first thing we're gonna be doing inside the store today is what we usually do at first inside the store, and that's to check out the Little Liberty section, their toy section, which is looking to be rather full. I'm seeing, I'm seeing full shelves, although I'm seeing a lot of stuff in bags. I think they're going for the whole bagged thing as of recently. It seems like every time I come in here, there's more and more and more bags, which you guys know how I feel about bagged items. Not usually the biggest, fan of them just sticking random things inside bags, but who knows, sometimes it can pay off. Hopefully today we'll actually find some good things. Oh look, I'm seeing more Pez dispensers. That's always fun, gonna stay far, far away from those. But all right, so we're gonna dive into all the toys. We're gonna see what we can find. Hopefully there's something interesting here. And then eventually we'll make our way over into the toys, um, the, the movies, we're already in the toys. I'm losing my mind. Yep, one minute into the video and I'm already losing my mind. I'm just gonna say that it's, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna chalk it up to my brain is still frozen and it hasn't thawed out yet. Yeah, that's, that's the excuse I'm going with. All right, well, things are getting interesting now because um, they do kind of sort of still have the talk with me Barbie here. And I say kind of sort of because there is no longer anything inside the box. It's, it's literally just turned into the box now. If you've been watching these videos for a while, you know that this has actually been in the store for months now. And I kept saying, who's gonna buy this? It's in terrible condition. They're asking $10 for it. Who knows if it even works? Like just who knows for $10, I don't know if anybody's gonna actually buy this. And it looks like somebody just took everything out of it and maybe bought it. I, I, have, I have no idea what's going on. I, I do not see the contents to this box lying around here anywhere. So now it's gotten to the point where for $10, you can buy a box. If you want some cardboard for 10 bucks, you're good to go. Do you honestly think that'll still be here next time I'm in the store? Play, place your bets down below. Will that be here? Will that not be here? Will a, will a cardboard box still be here? It probably will. As a kid, I always wanted one of these marble roller coasters. These are really, really awesome. I used to have a friend who had one of these and we used to play with it for hours. It would, it would take, well, it would take hours to set up. And then once you got it set up, it was really neat to see the marble going all around the tracks. This one here is actually like magnetic, which is really cool. I mean, obviously it's, it's been opened. It's probably not complete. Who knows if the marbles are even in there and you have to have like the right size marble to work with the tracks. They have to be very specific marbles. I mean, this is pretty cool though. They're only asking eight bucks for it. Honestly, if this was new for $8, I would totally buy this for me and my son to play with. But um, in open condition, I'm gonna have to pass. Also, I'm seeing some PJ Masks stuff down here. $13 for this. I, I don't really want the car. I just, I want the, the Gecko. Gecko is my, my favorite character from PJ Masks because my son always used to say that, that he was, he was, um, what was it, um, why am I, oh, Catboy, I'm forgetting their names now. He was Catboy, my wife was Alex, and I was, I was Gecko. That's what he always would say. So I, I kind of want that, but I don't want to pay $13 for the whole thing. So gonna end up passing on that. Honestly, the, the toy section is looking like it's gonna be kind of a bust. There's, there's a lot of stuff to look through. I just, I don't really see anything worth picking up. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really not seeing anything worth picking up. What, the, hold on, did something just, something just fall? I, I could swear something just fell to the ground and hit my shoe. I. I don't know, I don't, I don't see anything. Did you, did you see something fall? I didn't see anything fall. Yes, I will use that joke until the day I die. It's not going anywhere, guys, not going anywhere. Yeah, so again, the toy section is, uh, is gonna be a bust. I'm not seeing anything there worth picking up. I, I could go through all the plush. Last week I went through the plush and found something pretty amazing. Do I, do I dare dig through all the plush today? It looks like there's a lot more plush to be, to be dug through. Should I just, should I just skim? Maybe I'll just, I'm about to skim a little. Okay, all right, lesson learned. I need to always dig through the plush because um, I'm finding a 1986 Russ Snuggle Bear puppet. Look at this thing, it is a, it is a hand puppet. This is, this is too awesome, this is too cool. And it has its tags on it and everything. I'm only asking $1.99 for this, that's it. $2 for this awesome vintage 80s Snuggle Bear. I, I love, I'm, I'm gonna play with this thing for hours. Snuggle Bear puppet, this is really, really awesome. And um, yeah, again, for, for $2, all right, I'm, I'm picking this up for the, 
for the store. Yeah, we'll we'll see if it actually makes it there because yay, I'm, I'm loving this thing. Well, as per usual, I'm trying to keep the power of positivity alive, but um, I think this is going to do it for the toy section. So not exactly off to the strongest start ever. I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff to look through. It's just there's really nothing I want to pick up. The the board games and the puzzles were an absolute complete bust. Everything over here was a bust. Only only thing of real interest was the uh, the amazing Snuggle Bear puppet. I'm, I'm happy I found this, but yeah, it's going to do it for the toy section. I always forget they don't have one, but they actually have two plush bins. Why they're not next to each other, I have no idea. But in this one, I'm not really seeing anything worth picking up. Although these trains are really interesting. I don't know what the date on these are. I'm thinking maybe 70s I'm, or early 80s. These are really cool. And they all like Velcroed together. These are really cool plush trains. They have them all individually priced at $4 a piece. And I have no idea if the, the complete trains in here, I'm seeing a caboose, I'm seeing a car, I'm seeing... Maybe this was the like the coal car. I don't think that was the engine. I think maybe that was the coal car. I, I have no idea. There's probably an engine in here somewhere. It, it it may possibly be a complete train, but at four dollars a piece, why do you see again they're they've been bagging things. This is what needs to be bagged. All these just together for one low price. That would make sense. But all right, anyway, I don't know. Cool, cool vintage, maybe 70s, early 80s trains, but they're not they're not that cool. So I don't know why I'm still talking about them. I'm gonna take my, my snuggle bear, snuggle with it and leave the toy section. Yes, I realize the odds are stacked against me, but I had to come back over here into the bag section in hopes of maybe finding another Disney popcorn bucket. Last time I was in the store, I did find that amazing Star Wars Millennium Falcon Disney popcorn bucket. That thing was so awesome, so cool. I did end up keeping it, hanging it up in the library. It looks amazing, but unfortunately, no popcorn buckets today, no, no other Disney bags, no Lisa Frank, no nothing interesting and vintage. So move it on from the bag section. Just, just me and, and me and Snuggle Bear. Unfortunately, it's looking like linens are also going to be a bit of a bust. I don't see anything at all. They have a lot of towels to look through, but no cool towels. And pro tip, always look through towels. You never know when you're gonna find that that old GI Joe or, or vintage He-Man towel. Sometimes you find that kind of stuff. In fact, one time actually in this store, I did find an amazing vintage Splash Mountain towel that I, I did pick up. But today, nothing. I don't see any towels. I don't see any bed sheets and this store is one of the stores that doesn't sell sleeping bags so all right again me and snuggles moving on and of course it wouldn't be a trip out to a thrift store without me tempting myself by going through all the christmas merchandise and i'd be lying if i said i wasn't tempted by these amazing elf ears but i'm gonna pass on those luckily though i have been noticing that most uh, thrift stores their the christmas sections have been dwindling down because they've had this stuff out now for like two months so thankfully i don't really see a lot that i'm tempted by anymore i mean i do still th see some things that are that are kind of sort of somewhat tempting, but uh, not as tempting. So I guess that's good. I should buy those elf ears, shouldn't I? I think from here on out, I'm just gonna start showing these off in every single video I film because I pretty much see these in every single thrift store I go into, the 12 days of Christmas glasses. However, I never actually come across a full set of these. I think I've come close. I think I found like the 11 days of Christmas, but 12 days of Christmas, I'm pretty sure I've never actually seen before. Where the glasses go, where they end up, I have no idea. Maybe they've just broken over time, who knows? But they've got day one, they've got day three, and they've got day 11. But all 12 days, you never see it. No joke, I was really tempted to pick this up because it's pretty amazing, this cookie barrel. That is awesome. I've seen cookie jars before, but I've never seen a cookie barrel before. This is really cool, and I'm guessing, again, 70s, 80s. It, it is vintage, it's amazing, and I totally want this. But we're looking for a price. I realized it says as is, and after some further inspection, yeah, it's definitely cracked. There's a nice big crack through the top of this, so sadly the lid is not exactly in minty condition, and as such, I'm gonna have to pass on the cookie barrel. This thing is awesome. Did you ever have a cookie barrel in your house if you did? Leave a comment down below. I want a cookie barrel in my house, and now, now I never will. Actually, that's okay, because the more I think about it, it's not really the cookie barrel that I want, it's just the cookies inside the barrel that I want. I could really go for a cookie right now, but what kind of cookie? Keebler Fudge Stripe, yeah. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for the rest of the store, other than me and my new little buddy here. I don't really see anything else over there worth picking up, so we're gonna dive into all the books and the media now, finally, to see what they have over here, and once again, I'm seeing some full shelf something and maybe I'll find something good who who knows power of positivity I'm gonna find at least one good thing for for me well for a brief second I actually thought we were off to a pretty good start because I came across this weird interesting Nat Geo 
the great courses wonders of the national parks a geology of north america six disc dvd set so i guess this is for like classrooms or something it says um 36 lectures so pretty interesting pretty cool but unfortunately it's actually missing disc one it has disc, disc two through six no disc one this would have been a pretty awesome find i've actually never seen anything like this before yeah for like a dollar or two i i, I would have picked that up i guess it'd be two dollars i, I would have picked that up but um with it missing disc one i'm gonna have to pass yeah not off to a great start again i'm trying to keep the power of positivity alive but things just aren't looking good so here's i am alan partridge which is something i definitely 100 would have picked up for me personally but the discs on this thing are just completely destroyed. I mean, they are scratched, they are sticky, they are disgust. Like, I don't, you see, what, what is that? I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't want to know what that is. All I do know is I'm gonna end up passing on that. And now I'm gonna be looking for some hand sanitizer. So um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the power of positivity alive. There's gotta be something good. But like I said, we're, we're not off to a great start. All right, well, here's something kind of interesting to PBS Nova documentaries, Rise of the Hackers and Cyberware Threat. I don't have either of these and I like a good PBS Nova documentary. So I'm thinking for two bucks a piece, these are worth picking up for my, uh, my ever-growing collection of documentaries, my insane ever-growing collection of documentaries. Do I need more documentaries? Probably not, but you know what? For two bucks a piece, I'm buying two more. It's not something I'm gonna pick up, but who remembers when this came out? The Vista series release of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This was a huge deal back in the day because I believe before this, it was just out in a single disc release, no special features, nothing like that. And then this came out and everybody lost their minds. I remember this. I think I got it for Christmas, maybe my birthday that year. This was a, again, this was a big deal, but I mean, now it's been released to, to Blu-ray. Now you can get it on 4K. This does not matter anymore, but still brings back memories of the days when Things were still kind of new to DVD and releases like this were, were a big deal. I miss those days. Wow, I'm actually coming across a 3D Blu-ray here from uh, Goodwill at one point. Wow, when, when Goodwill Blu-rays were only $1.97. So those are also fond memories I have. This is pretty cool, but I actually already have this. It's a like BMX or extreme mountain biking or whatever 3D Blu-ray. Again, I already have this in my collection. Don't actually need this, so gonna pass on that. Still cool to see a 3D Blu-ray here at the store and for one dollar 97 cents at one point at goodwill again i i miss those days all right well not seeing too much more over here in the movies but we do still have all the hidden movies over there so maybe possibly there's a there's a good gem hidden within those you never know not gonna hold my breath but power of positivity unfortunately i'm not really seeing much in the way of anything over here in the hidden movies either with the exception of a couple of kind of interesting things like this census fails cd dvd combo which i actually already have though i don't think mine has a slip cover but do i really want to pay two dollars for a slip cover not so much so probably gonna pass on that and they did have a copy of wild wild west which i do need individually by itself i have it in a multi-feature set i don't care what people say this movie is fantastic i love this film does not deserve all the hate it gets but uh, this is not in very good condition so gonna pass on that i'm thinking it's just gonna be the uh, the pbs nova documentaries and uh, yeah that's it's gonna be about it Actually, on second thought, turns out CDs are only $1 a piece. So yeah, I will pay $1 for a slipcover. I'm going to grab the, the Senses Fails CD DVD combo. Kind of makes me tempted to go through all the rest of the CDs, but only kind of. I just, I don't, there's a lot of CDs to go through. Do I have it in me? Should I just skim? I mean, skimming paid off once a day. Maybe I'll just skim again. And I think skimming is going to be a bit of a bust. I don't see anything I want to pick up. Although I do have to say, somebody apparently has really good taste. Spice World, All American Rejects, Taking Back Sunday, and Scroll Nut Zippers all together. There's no way that can be a coincidence. Somebody, for some reason, had really good taste, but decided to forgo their taste and leave these behind. That's a, it's a nice little selection of, of CDs there, but nothing I need. I already have those, and I don't see anything else I want. So, all right, moving on from the media section. For a second, I was actually pretty excited. I thought I found something I definitely wanted to pick up. Though the more I look at this, it is still pretty amazing. It's a CD tower, but what makes this really cool is you flip it around and voila, there are picture frames. So if you don't want all your CDs making your living room look gaudy, no, no problem. You put your CDs in here, you flip it around, and it's just pictures of you and your family looking all pretty. This is really, really neat though. They're, they're asking $25 for this, and it is broken it's got a nice big crack right here it's actually missing some of the components it's not complete so 
$25 for a broken, incomplete CD tower. Hey, look, this thing's pretty neat, but um, it's not that neat. What I thought this was, though, was a spinning DVD tower. If that was the case, then even with the crack, I, I may have still picked it up. But um, yeah, I, I don't need this. It's broken, so clearly I'm passing. All right, so I'm thinking that's just about gonna do it for Liberty Ministry Thrift, but man, they got some really cool stuff back here in their display area of their more collectible, expensive items. Look at the Cabbage Patch Kids slippers. Those are really weird. It's literally just Cabbage Patch Kid doll heads on on slippers. Yeah, that was, that was a thing back in the day. Those are actually licensed. That is so weird and so bizarre. They also have a Cabbage Patch Kids lunchbox, which is really, really cool and kind of sort of tempting. I love me a good plastic lunchbox. And they have an iSibe dog. Who remembers when these things were like the big craze? I guess it was like the early 2000s. These robotic animals, they were huge. I worked at FEO Schwartz when these things got really big. And um, yeah, those were, a, those were a big seller. They were also crazy, ridiculously expensive. Now you can get used ones with with instructions and everything for like $20. They also have a, a Wii over here, which I don't need. I already have a Nintendo Wii, but that's still really cool to see for like $50, not, not bad. So again, they have some cool stuff here today. It's just not much I need, unfortunately. All right, so yeah, with that, we are done here at Liberty Ministry Thrift's gigantic, awesome megastore. I love this place, but uh, not much going on today. Well, that's a lie. They do actually have a lot of stuff. They, they have definitely 100% restocked. I am seeing very full shelves, it's just, I'm, I'm picky and there's not really much I need, but at least I found two documentaries, a CD, well, a slip cover and a really cool snuggle bear. I'm, I'm loving this snuggle bear. That is the coolest find of today. But with that, again, I am done. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check down below for a link to my second channel, Retro Rest Stop for fun daily adventures. That's weird. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye. <coughs> Almost got through that. Bye.